trip to Honduras in 2004 to promote the album, like the promote album, right? Yeah, yeah. How was the? How long was the tour for? Uh, we was over there for like three weeks, I think. Okay. Three, four weeks. Okay, were the were the shows successful? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Everybody was running for us over there. That's what's yeah. up. Mm-hmm. Everybody was running for us. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Nah, and it was good, man, because you know that um, the Fernandez band albums. I feel like those are classic. Got even the albums because right after, right after you know we dance and have fun and everything, here comes the Fatima with a balada yeah, for yeah. all the older people, yeah. whatever. So you know it was always a great balance. Yeah, 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 yeah. always. Yeah. yeah, no, that's what's up. All right, so now um, y'all about to do a third album, the comeback. It's now 2007. This is three years after Rocky and Macarena. Bopuni, you know it's crazy. See, all right, now in these times, I'm a lot older. From 2004 to 2007, it's only three years. But whoever lived that time, it felt like so long. So long, right? It felt long, because when the comeback came out, it felt like Rompiendo Cadenas came out like 10 years ago, mm-hmm. but it really, it was just really three mm-hmm. or whatever. So yeah, so um, the making of the comeback. Now, was it titled the comeback because y'all weren't a band anymore? Or like, what What was it that was Yeah, because on? a lot of people told that we was, mm-hmm. that band was uh, like, we was over, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If you want to remember, uh, it was a guy, I don't want to mention his name, like, mm-hmm. uh, they played for Colossal Feria. Mm-hmm. And then, in one of his songs, he said, Oh, como decía Fernandez man. Mm. I said, What? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, como decía Fernandez man? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I called all the guys, I said, Listen, hey, we gotta make another album, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why we call the uh, we call the album The Comeback. You okay. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. 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 Yo, and it had a different sound. And it was very different from the first one and the second one because it was more like almost like like pop music mm-hmm, mm-hmm. from from when the album starts to from Feria Corozal to Popo and all of that or whatever. So now um, um, Popo and Roxanne, right? Those those two songs. What what um, what was the inspiration behind those two songs? Uh, Popo. Uh, well, I remember when I was a little boy in Corozal. Tio mm-hmm. uh, every time he used to get drunk. He used to sing, he used to sing that. Uh, so, this is uh, I, I, I get the idea from, 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 from him. Oh, okay. You know, yeah, from, okay. Uh, Roxanne is a, it's a rock and roll song. Yeah. From the police. From the police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I took the idea from that. Okay. You know, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. 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 Yo, I, Everybody loves Roxanne. Everybody loves Roxanne, bro. Hey. Mm-hmm. And. If you if you don't play that song, I got I I get in trouble. Yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah, you gotta see what I'm saying. <laughs> for real, yo, know, there's people there's people that got their own name for it. There's people that call it no say. No say. No say. It happens. No, but the, the real name of the song is Brooks. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> All right, yo, there's a song on um, there's a song on the second Fernandez band album, Rompiendo Cadenas, right? That is called um, it is called Watago And um, everybody enjoys that song. Um, everybody enjoys that song because of the melody and it's just I seen the show that you had in Houston oh, yeah, so, yeah. when Ecstasy was back yeah, yeah. up and when you performed that song, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was like a big sing along. Yeah. And I thought to myself, I'm just like, yo, does every does everybody know that what the bullet means we're gonna drink tonight? I'm gonna smoke. Yeah, right. <laughs> so Yeah, so that's what I wanted to ask you about. Yeah. Uh, what the Guade bullet. Explain explain to us about, you know, the the, the meaning of that song. And what inspired you to do it? Yeah, I wrote that song because you know what I'm saying, like, like, you know, like I told you before. Back then, I used to smoke mm-hmm. a lot. Yeah, and I know you a little bit, a lot. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Fuck that little fucking five dollars. <laughs> nah. nah, I used to smoke a lot, nigga. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I was always high. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Even to go to the fucking supermarket, I had to be fuck. I had to get high to go. Even to go to the fucking laundry, I got. Yeah, right. Huh? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh snap! You know what I'm saying? So fuck it. So I wrote that song because you know I'm saying we're gonna have a good time. Yeah. Life is too short. Man. Exactly. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta enjoy, you gotta enjoy life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For so real. Hey, what's that? 
I don't. I feel like us American borns don't know are not gonna know what that means until <laughs> until we hear it now. They're just like, yo, that's what he was saying this whole time, <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, for real. Yo, you know what I love about um, Fernandez Band the comeback that it reminds me of like a like a hip hop album from back in the days because I always wondered who the hell was Rasta and what's Chamugu at the end, and why do you want it? <laughs> Rasta what? Give me Chamugu at the end. I'm like, yo, who's that? Or whatever. You know, but I you know, but I ended up finding out after I'm just like, oh okay. So Rasta is a um Rasta is an actual person, right? Yeah. Okay. He's an he's a, he's a oldest guy in Corozal. Like, mm-hmm. He's uh, all these Rastas over in Corozal that, 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 that take care of the, the pueblo, you know? Uh, okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's what's Saludos para toda mi gente de Corozal, para todos yeah. los Rastas. Yes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 